Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, hi friends, uh, how are you? Uh, in this lecture, uh, we will discuss about uh, how you design the hall. Okay. So uh, this is a case uh, in which uh, uh, we are given that this is a hall that is 36 feet uh, wide and 40 feet uh, long. Okay. So and the first step uh, that you should uh, be carried out uh, to design the a hall is that uh, you should start with the framing okay uh, framing means that uh, you, sh you set the location of beams and column so uh, it will depends on your experience okay uh, in my uh, opinion uh, we have a uh, two choices the first choice is that we uh, apply uh, four beams in uh, in this direction one two okay one two three four in this direction a uh, beam one beam 2 beam 3 beam 4 and we also place uh, one columns here the second option is that we omit these columns okay maybe there are a lot of different options uh, to uh, apply uh, the uh, you set the location of beams and column okay but one uh, thing should be mind that uh, the the direction of beams should be in a direction of interest for example this is your interest so uh, the length of the beams and the beams should be uh, kept parallel to your direction of uh, interest okay uh, one uh, we have another option is that we apply the columns here okay but uh, for example there is an architecture restriction it means that we do not uh, apply uh, or we do not uh, place column in these directions uh, okay uh, it means that it it, sh it, sh it should not destroy the aesthetic property of the uh, of the hall okay so uh, for uh, this for these lectures we adopted this framing okay so the first step of uh, uh, designing the hall is uh, include the design of slab okay so uh, we are given that the compressive strength of the concrete is uh, the comp comp sorry the compressive strength of concrete is taken as 3000 psi and the yield strength of the steel is taken as 40000 psi okay so uh, first of all uh, you sh you you should see that uh, either the slab is one way slab or two way slab so uh, whenever you have designed the slab you should taken the uh, slab panel the panel mean that the area bounded by the beams okay so we have three panels panel one panel two panel three okay the length is 40 feet and the breadth is 12 feet okay it is approximately 3.33 and this is greater than 2 it means that and your slab is uh, one way slab okay so one way slab is always designed on a on its shorter axis so the shorter axis is 12 feet okay so uh, the uh, the free body diagram of the uh, slab is like that okay so the first step uh, of uh, design of slab is the uh, thick is the calculation of thickness of the slab okay so uh, minimum height specified by ACI for slab we have four option okay so for a simply supported simply supported mean that you only have one slab in this way the second is that one and continuous mean that your slab is continuous from one side both and continuous mean that your slab is continuous from your both side and cantilever slab mean that in this way okay so uh, I remove this all okay so uh, we have uh, we don't uh, have this condition and this condition we have uh, these two condition one and continuous this panel is continuous from one side similarly this panel is continuous from this side and this panel is continuous from both sides okay for uh, for this section uh, the formula is span by 24 span by 24 and span by 28 okay uh, so uh, the maximum depth achieve is achieve is from this formula okay so uh, we should uh, use 
uh, homogeneous thickness of the slab so uh, we take uh, this uh, this formula okay so uh, the formula is span by 24 the span is 20, uh, 12 feet and 24 multiplied by 12 inch to, uh, to convert a fit into inches so, so it will be 6 inches and the second step is the calculation of loads there are two types of load acting on a uh, slab the first one is dead load and the second one is live load uh, dead loads are further are uh, divided into uh, dead self load and superimposed dead load so first of all we see that how we calculate uh, self dead load okay uh, self dead load of slab is calculated by the formula density multiplied by thickness one thing should be mind that slab always take a load area load area load mean that it should always take a load into in this in this way pound per fit square okay so the density of concrete is 150 pound per fit cube it means that you have to multiply by uh, multiply with one dimension so the dimension is is the thickness okay so the six in the thickness is six inches divided by 12 to convert uh, inch to into fit okay so uh, your dead load is 75 pound per fit square superimposed dead load superimposed dead load mean that the extra dead load which are acting on your slab for example uh, your slab uh, has uh, let's suppose 3 inch uh, mortar and uh, 1.5 inch of marble so you can also uh, calculate this load as for example the density of mortar is 140 140 multiplied by thickness similarly the uh, the thickness of uh, the density of marble is 150 multiplied by 1.5 divided by 12 so uh, add these load as add these two loads so uh, it, it 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 is approximately 60 pound per square fit so you can calculate according to your uh, condition and the uh, the third one is live load live load is actually the occupancy load occupancy load means that uh, how much uh, um, how much pe how many people are uh, are walking through your uh, floors okay so this will depends on your uh, occupancy type for example apartments flats slabs so uh, we uh, we take this load from uh, from uh, different codes so uh, I have took this second short from ACI so you just uh, type uh, ACI minimum live load in Google so you find this load in this table okay for example your apartment uh, your office has a 50 pound per fit square load and this is our hall okay so hall has a 100 pound per fit square load okay so this is our live load and uh, we add a uh, total dead loads so the total dead load is 135 pound per fit scale and the total live load is 100 pound per fit scale so uh, the next step is load combination load combination mean that uh, for achieving factor of safety we actually increase the loads and decrease the strength it means that we have to increase the load so uh, code uh, allow us to increase the load and if there is only dead load so we increase 1.4 and if we want to uh, uh, add live load so it should be 1.2 dead into 1.6 live okay so we just uh, calculate so uh, 322 322 pound per fit scale is greater than 189 so this will control it means that your slab is designed on the basis of uh, 322 pound per fit scale load okay now we go into the detailed design of slab uh, after the calculation of load so the slab aspect ratio is 3.33 it means that is it greater, greater than 2 it means that it is one way slab must remember that one way slab is design of unit width it means that if your slab is uh, this is 40 feet and this is 12 inch okay so we we we, we don't take it okay we just see that this is 12 feet and this is one fit okay and we apply this whole uh, design into 40 feet okay so 322 multiplied by one fit it means that 322 pound per fit okay it this is your free by diagram okay uh, you should uh, 
your design is like that okay okay this is your continuous beam okay this is i just give you an example okay so th the the next step is the structural analysis okay structural analysis mean that you have to find how much moments and how much uh, shear is produced in a structure so uh, we have i have taken these coefficients from the book design of concrete structure nelson 48408 okay so this is our coefficient so uh, now let's see that how you use these coefficients okay you have uh, four criteria a b c d the first one criteria says that beams with more than two spins uh, don't be confused that it is only apply for beams it is also apply for beams and uh, slabs okay so uh, if we have more than two spins if we have uh, only two spins the third one is that slab with spin not exceeding 12 feet if for example our slab has a 8 feet or 9 feet or 10 feet but should not be greater than 10 feet the uh, the fourth one table is used for the uh, beams in which the sum of columns stiffness exceed 8 times it means that uh, your beams has little uh, little bit less cross sectional area as compared to your columns for example your beam is uh, and this here this is your column it means that your ei our l it means that your moment of inertia of columns is greater than the moment of inertia of uh, beams eight times okay uh, now see that what is our uh, case okay our case is case a okay because we have three spins see that we have three spins one two three okay it means that now see that we have another three options one two three the first one is discontinuous and restrained discontinuous and restrained mean that if your slab is directly placed on your wall it means that there is no monolithic connection between your wall and slab okay so the moment is zero here okay so we apply this condition the second one is spandrel spandrel mean that your slab or uh, sorry your, your slab or beam is also resting on slab beam okay your this is your slab and this is your beam and the second third one is that your slab is resting on column okay so our case is this spandrel spandrel mean that and beams okay so we have we have to use these one two three four five six okay i just write here okay one by twenty four fourteen ten and the top means the top in means negative moment and the bottom in positive moments i i hope so you have a concept of positive moment and to negative moment uh, i just give you an example for example <coughs> your structure will be bent in this direction in this way okay it means that it is hogging here negative moment is it is positive moment sagging hogging positive sagging hogging it means that it is negative positive negative positive negative okay so uh, your negative moments are 3 1 by tw uh, 24 10 11 and positive moments are 14 over 16 so uh, the formula for the calculation of moment is equal to w l square multiplied by coefficient okay 14 16 are for coefficient of positive moment and then for negative moments uh, your coefficients are 24 10 and 11 okay after the structural analysis uh, we have to design the structure design the structure mean that we have to uh, find the amount of steel how much steel will be used okay so uh, for example our we have we have to design the structure for five moments one two three four five okay so we just uh, 
we start from this one okay three three one two okay so our movement is three three one two pound fit so first of all you find rn factor r fan rn factor mean mu divided by phi bd square phi is actually 0 0.9 this is actually the tension control structure so uh, i have told to you that we have to increase the load and decrease the uh, strength okay so uh, for tension control structure for beams and slab we took this phi factor is equal to 0 0.9 and b is 12 inches as i have told to you that this is one fit unit weight structure so mu divided by phi bd square now the question is that what is d d is actually the effective depth effective depth mean that the distance from the top of section to the centroid of the uh, bars okay so the total height of the uh, b slab is six inches this is cover normally the cover is three over four inch of the slab and half die of bar okay must remember that uh, in slab two types of steels uh, are used okay three number or four number four three number mean that 10 mm four mm mean that 12 mm okay so uh, i assume that we have used uh, four number steel okay so half dia of bar okay this is actually to convert into inches okay so this is our effective depth effective depth mean that uh, our effective depth is five inches uh, after that uh, i'm sorry where is next uh, after the calculation of rn uh, uh, you have to find rn factor so um, mu divided by phi bd square uh, after the calculation of r and factor you have to find rho rho is made that amount of steel okay and this is formula and uh, this formula is taken from aci uh, books okay so this is 0.85 fc prime divided by fy 1 minus under root 1 minus 2 r n divided by 0 0.85 fc prime okay so just put r n here okay fc prime fy so this is equal to 0 0.00375 okay uh, after that uh, we have to find ast ast mean uh, ast is equal to rho bd b is 12 and uh, depth is equal to 5 inches which is uh, equal to 0 0.22 inches square uh, inches uh, square per fit it means that 0 0.22 inches square per fit steel is is required for this section uh, after that uh, we apply the minimum ratio uh, of steel so minimum uh, aci coefficient uh, aci standard say that as should be uh, at least 0.002 bh bh it mean that total height of slab 0.112 if this value exceed this value so we sh uh, we are using we will use this value okay now this value is less than this value so we are just using this value okay so 0.22 inches inches square per fit okay now in slab i i told to you that we have only two option the first option is point three inches and uh, three number steel and four number steel must remember must remember that five number bar is not used in slab okay the maximum number of steel bar used in slab conventional slab is four inches four uh, four number four number means that four by eight inches now uh, we have to find the spacing so uh, three inches steel and three number bar i'm sorry three number bar has the area of 0 0.11 and four number bar has a area of 0 0.22 0 0.20 i have take this area from aci uh, aci appendix okay uh, if you do if you do if you don't have this appendix you also find manually by by our four three hour eight inches square okay but uh, but use this aci appendix uh, area okay now we have to uh, find the spacing spacing formula is equal to area of one bar divided by total area multiple multiply by 12 inches so 0 0.11 
divided by 0 0.2 to multiply by 12 inch it means that if we use three number steel we have to use three number bar at the rate of six inches center to center okay if we use four number steel so the spacing is equal to 10 inches okay so uh, it now uh, it is your choice to use this uh, this uh, spacing or this spacing i use this spacing okay so uh, if you don't uh, want to use this formula okay these formulas so you just uh, see that what is your required area 0.22 just see that this is 0.22 okay it means that 3 inches at the rate of 6 inch center of center okay if we have to use 4 number steel so it is approximately approximately uh, 10 inches okay now uh, we have to find the shrinkage and temperature reinforcement must remember that in one way slab there are two types of reinforcement one is main reinforcement and the second is shrinkage and temperature reinforcement okay so temperature and uh, shrinkage reinforcement uh, is calculated uh, by using how much grade of steel is used for 40 grade steel you have to use 0 0.002 and for for grade 60 you have to use 0, 0 0.0018 bh okay i have took this formula from uh, the book design of concrete structure page number 429 okay uh, for this uh, case we have use this grade steel okay so, so 0 0.002 bh equal to 0 0.114 0 0.144 inches per fit okay so this is equal to 3 inches at the uh, 3 number bar at the rate of 9 inch center center okay so uh, for uh, for up to now we have design uh, for this moment okay now uh, again we have to find the spacing for this uh, moment for this moment for this moment the for this moment the procedure is same okay so i just mention here that for this moment row is this area of this and spacing is and spacing is is required for this okay same for this moment spacing is this one for this moment uh, this is your spacing okay for this moment amount of steel is this one and the spacing is uh, required spacing is this one okay so i just uh, um, concise uh, all the uh, lecture into one uh, page in this way that uh, this is your required moments okay this is your positive moment this is your positive moment this is your positive moment and this is your negative moment negative moment negative moment and negative moment and the required uh, section uh, spacing is this one for this uh, for this moment and this spacing is for this moment and the same for all uh, uh, all spacing okay so uh, this is the uh, end of the design okay the last one and very important is actually the detailing okay so uh, I just uh, use white screen okay so this is your okay I'm sorry uh, just uh, white screen okay so this is your okay this is your slab okay now this is your positive steel 
having three inches at the rate of three number steel at the rate of six inches center center okay this is your temperature reinforcement okay and this is your negative steel okay okay so uh, now the question is that what is the length of this steel okay this is equal to l by 4 which is approximately 3 feet this is l by 3 l by 3 approximately uh, 8 inch 8 feet this is also 8 feet and this is about 3 feet okay so uh, this is the end of the lecture uh, if you have any question uh, you can ask me directly thank you very much